So I've always looked forward to these uh, presentations uh, because, you know, as I showed earlier about part of what we as Rotarians uh, believe in and talk about is really this, this international understanding. It's one of the things that's really kept me interested in being a part of, of Rotary is that so much of our, our lives are not necessarily connected to the international types of things that are out there. And this is one real way, uh, real tangible way in which that we can see that, that connection uh, that our work and the things that we believe in are a part of, of that. And so I'm really looking forward to this presentation in terms of what we're going to learn and what we're going to see. And so for those visitors that are here, uh, you're in for a real treat um, um, as, as we get this uh, going. And I'm glad this is them and not me. Normally my mom and I are, because uh, my mom thinks I'm some great technical person and I'm really not. So, <laughs> so uh, and so without further ado, if you want to take it from here, yeah. Anja? Sure. And then click the uh, where's that clicker? Uh, do, you, do you need to switch it on? Oh, it's on. Um, it was right here. Yeah, here okay. you go. Thank you. Here you go. You all can hear me, right? Yes. Yeah, okay. So, uh, every time I start a new program, or I think about all the old programs that we have done and are still running, I thank you all from the bottom of my heart. I just can't tell you what magic our club has done. Without you, I would not have been able to do the stories that I'm going to talk to you about today. Uh, again, uh, Abishkar, uh, that I started that so long ago, 2014, with the aim of transforming the landscape of STEM education, science, technology, engineering, and mathematics. There are many women, many women who are 18 plus and probably up till 35, who have joined the program all across the country, doing mathematics and making the foundations better for our students. Because what we had noticed that 80% of our students fear mathematics and drop it at the earliest opportunity they get. That means, and it does not matter, it is wealth agnostic. The fear of mathematics is wealth agnostic. So, if they drop mathematics, that means the path to prosperity is almost closed. And that is what we are trying to change. And we have worked with 800 such women so far. And they are changing not only their lives, because if you look in India, the working age population, almost 70 to 80 percent men are in jobs. And the working age population of women, only 20% of them work. So that means, eight, and that too, in informal jobs that, are, that do not have the flexibility that a current woman in India needs for her job. So we decided that we will meet them where they are, and we will build up from there. So those who could come to campus, uh, we did like a lengthened program for them. Those who couldn't come, we partnered with many organizations across the country who were working with women and were interested in education. We said, you provide them internet, we will provide them education. So we ran a, like a six month long program, and some, in some cases three months, depending on what their skills are. They were moms at home who wanted to make money. And uh, so this is what we did uh, since COVID till now, and this is how these 800 women have become educators. Those, there are, if you look at that, so like Arshida, she is from, uh, she is working at Avishka, she came from Rajasthan, a very uh, conservative community of Rajasthan. Uh, Aarti, she is from my village, now she uh, works in Delhi. Then uh, Jyoti, uh, she has become a curriculum developer and she is in Madhya Pradesh. So they are distributed all over the country. They have, this is the first time they have stepped out of home. They are making money. They are supporting their families. So they have, the confidence has really skyrocketed. They have become drivers of their own career. They have become decision makers of their family and they've become role models of their community. 
Nidhi that I talked to you about, she is the only person in her village, only person, not male or female, only person in her village who has a full time job. And when she, and that too as a math teacher who nobody expected her. So when she goes, actually the whole village comes to meet her. So it has really shifted. And we have worked with her in 2014 also and today also. Now she is a part of Avishkar team. So where are these women working? They are working with organizations who work in education or they are working in schools or those who did not want to leave, leave home or had, had some situation in which they couldn't leave for long, they all have started tutoring and they are making money as a tutor. This is the team that has made it happen. Uh, this is the Avishkar team. Uh, I, I talked to you about Anjali who is here. When this picture was taken, Nidhi had gone home to visit, so you don't see her. So as you would see, it is mostly women changing lives of many more women. So uh, Women Math Educator Program is just one of the programs that we do. The other two programs uh, that we do are direct engagement with our students and working with in-service teachers across the country. So we have partnership with several state governments and organizations. And one such program, uh, Dawn Styles, thank you so much for getting this off the ground. Uh, it is bridging the mathematics gap, gap in middle school students in two different states of Himachal Pradesh and Assam. We have adopted 10 schools each. Uh, the program has already started, uh, sponsored by our district, uh, our club. So thank you so much. Now these girls, all these girls that we had supported earlier and the team members, now they are going to these schools and creating this change. So like one of the students here, this is Sheetal. She had reached seventh grade, but she did not know how to divide or what does division mean. And when she actually, we just walked her through and she realized, and then she said, you know, did I just do division? I've learned it something. And that is the first five week camp we have, five day camp we have done. We will be doing five day camps, three five day camps almost. Uh, through the year and we were doing it for two years. So we are hoping to create a lot of change. Another program that was supported last year was uh, in a very difficult district of Jammu and Kashmir, uh, almost the head of India, bordering Pakistan. It snows so hard that everything closes down. So once we went just before the snow, then we went after and then part of it we did uh, through online. So thank you for the support. We reached out to 60 government teachers and the excitement was absolutely amazing. I had never seen teachers so enthusiastic about learning. The place is so remote and so difficult that not many organizations go that far to work with these schools. So this was absolutely amazing. Uh, in this group, there was not a single woman. There were 60 men who were, uh, who were part of the training and there were four women trainers. So we weren't initially sure how would that go because we have been in situations where all the, uh, these uh, four, six women walk in and there are only uh, 35 plus age group men sitting and they don't take it very kindly sometimes. But uh, through the five days, things change and we become great friends. So when we entered this classroom, we were expecting something like this. But this was, they had, uh, that had, they had enthusiasm of a child to learn. So it, it went absolutely fantastic. So if you look, uh, whatever is orange is where we have been in this past year. So thank you. Thank you so much for getting us here. You have supported consistently. There are people who support once and walk away, but our Rotary Club, our district has supported us year after year after year. So that's what makes it so wonderful. Through them, we have been uh, able to reach uh, 155,000 students, 16,000 teachers. 
And if you look what difference we have been able to make, so they have, uh, their conceptual understanding of the subject has become better. Their teaching practice, so three things we work on, knowledge, skill, and mindset. So we have seen conceptual understanding change. We have seen teaching practices. But the biggest shift here we have seen is the way they have started looking at mathematics. And it's, it's that belief is really important. A teacher's understanding of the, how they think about mathematics or science, then what do they think about their ability in mathematics or science? And then what do they think about their students' ability in mathematics and science? These three things need to shift to actually create a shift in the classroom. However much I do first one or second one, it will not affect if my teacher do not believe. And that is what I think is the crux of this program. And some other things have also happened. We were, now, we were certified as a great place to work, and we are really proud of that. That this is something that came as a surprise for us. Uh, this is uh, UN, uh, United Nations has a uh, special project called United Nations Women. Uh, and they are all over the world. They also have an India chapter. So they were celebrating uh, India's 75 years. And they selected 75 uh, women who were leaders across India. And I was selected as one of them. They came up with a book called Hum, that is We and Women Who Lead. I wanted to bring the book, but it is kind of very thick. <laughs> so uh, very, I'm very happy that Avishkar was covered there. Good recognition. We are also building a new campus. So uh, some of you have visited uh, Himachal Pradesh, and many of you have not. So I invite you to come see our beautiful new campus uh, where it would be a center of excellence in science and math education. We are hoping to build something like an exploratorium. It will take, uh, it will take time and money, and we, have, we will figure that out. So uh, looking forward, uh, last month, thanks to Don, who has, who has been a mentor to me right from day one. Uh, our another project has, was, has been uh, uh, given funding uh, by Rotary, and we would be going to Madhya Pradesh this time, and we would be uh, working with 75 women mentors, who in turn will work with 600 women teachers. And uh, so this will be again uh, a year-long project. And here you see uh, one math educator at a time creating this change. Uh, this is Nidhi Aranjali. They also teach online and they also go in person. I remember, uh, so Nidhi is from uh, 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 a place near uh, in Bihar. And uh, for one of our trainings, we got an opportunity to work in the community where she comes from, so who go and teach the students. So she actually went there, and when she was, uh, so we have a lot of activities that students have to do. So when she was asking the students and they were not responding, she said, Didi, Didi means elder sister is what she calls me. So she said, Didi, I had to stop the program because I realized I was sitting there before joining Avishkar, and I knew the fear that they are dealing with. So I just stopped and told them my story as to how I used to fear these things. I used to fear asking questions or responding and see uh, by getting rid of their fear, where am I that I'm teaching you again, teaching you all this. And uh, so it was, uh, it was like a full circle for her. So uh, we, we get to hear many stories like this. And let's see. Uh, so through the global grant program, if this runs, I wonder if you can hear. They are saying, thank you, Rotary. So this is the magic of Rotary, making dreams real. Thank you so much for what you do. Yes. Thank you.
I used to work in Polar Semiconductor and that time Rotary used to meet right, in, right there in that area, close to Toro. And uh, so I was, I used to work in a jumpsuit in a clean room where I did not see faces but all engineering all the time. And I knew there is world outside of engineering that I wanted to know. So uh, I, I had gone to uh, one of the uh, John Hull's, Carol Hull's party. Uh, and the only butler in the party was John Hull, only man. And when he heard about me, he said, why don't you come to Rotary? And that's how I came here. I started attending the programs that I really liked. I enjoyed them, but I was not able to figure out how, what is it that I am going to do. And uh, I was on the verge of quitting the club. But I went to India, I came back and I saw a project that I really liked. So I sat with Diane and then she said, why don't you present it? I was like, really? I could do that? So she said, yeah. And then Carolyn Pratt was here. I finished the presentation and she said, I think she was the president that time or yeah. Yeah. And she said, $500 go uh, make the library that you want to get the books. And then I started talking to Don Stiles a lot. Uh, he had done a vocational talk and I had just learned that he had been a, a play music, you had played in Broadway musical. I was just so enamored by him <laughs> that people do different things in life. And uh, as I got to know each one of you in different capacities as volunteers, I was, uh, I was just, uh, this was a place, this has always been a place for me where uh, there, you come from all different walks of life. But uh, to make our community a better place, is such, this is just so much a part of this that uh, I just feel very good here. I, when I come here and talk to you, I know you will get it. I don't, when somebody asks me to do a presentation there, I don't go. I just would send somebody. But here I always want to make this presentation because I know you have seen me as an engineer who would just come for uh, the talk and immediately would leave, would hardly talk to anybody. To hear, uh, you listen to me, you, you have always, always, always supported. And I, I, even I am amazed what we have been able to do. Now if you go and talk to, if some, anybody looks uh, for a good teacher training program in science or math education, they do their research, they would not know me or uh, Avishkar, but when they start doing their research, they're looking for an excellent organization who can do it. They figure out our phone number and they call us. And we get these calls on a weekly basis. I mean, many organization who can do it, uh, who can uh, raise the money to do the program, they reach out and there are many who can't raise the money or don't have the capacity they come to us and then we say, if they keep coming back to us like two, three times, then I mark it on my list that this is the organization I'm going to ask for funds for next year. And I have a long list. So I'll keep coming back. <laughs> <laughs> yes. How much of an issue is like internet or availability of internet on being able to reach uh, girls? Women? Uh, so, Availability of internet is somewhat of a problem, but the bigger problem is actually having the device. Uh, if there is a son and a daughter in the house, the son will get it uh, to play with the device, but the daughter will not get it even for educational purposes. So, so but, but you know, whichever world we live in, there would always be challenges, right? This one's we know, so we can figure it out. Yeah, I was going to ask you, kind of piggybacking on that, when you were working with that area that's way up in the north by Pakistan, mm -hmm. and you went there before the snow and after the snow, 
do they continue somehow having school through their heavy snow season? And how is their internet? And are there people then studying from home and do they even have access? Uh, so uh, their vacation time is this deep winter. So they closed down for those 40 days. 40? 40, yeah. Uh, so that is their vacation time. Uh, internet is very regulated because it's kind of a conflict zone. But so it's very regulated. Yeah. Sandhya, how, how is it you receive, achieving such a geographic reach for all these programs? How do they find out about you? Or how do you? Collaboration, collaboration, collaboration. <laughs> I mean, uh, it really, uh, uh, so you have every time, uh, so collaboration, and you have to show them uh, that we are in it for, what is it that, what is the vision that we want? Call, always talking about it, and always showing it through our actions. I mean, when, uh, whenever a new trainer uh, actually goes to train, she must have given different team members mock five to six times. We, we are very watchful for every single word, every single example that she takes. It's very easy for us to say, oh, th this person was doing something he in, an, in our examples. We are very intentional about saying she because we are the ones who have to change this narrative. So, you know, being fair to all, that's what it's about. Yes, sir. What happens when you want to retire to the Caribbean? <laughs> <laughs> I'm living in my Caribbean. <laughs> I mean, I have my dream job. I, if I can die like this, I'll be happy. <laughs> Yeah, I couldn't have asked for more. I mean, I, I love my engineering, but this one is something that just keeps giving. I, I am just extremely lucky that way. Do you have any kind of a successor program for you? Successor, yeah. So now I don't have to do the program. Uh, the, team, the team that you saw is there. Uh, they do all of the, all the programming. Sometimes I do want to because I, I think I'm a teacher at heart, so I want to teach. So if there is a group of teachers or something is happening and they will say that they want to hear your story, so I trade. I said, if you give me a session, I will do that. So now I have to fight for it. Yes. Are you still involved in Nari Gunjan or are they, have they gone their own <laughs> way and doing their work on their own? Uh, they are doing their work on their own. But we do, uh, but there are many women in the program who come from Nari Kunja. So we are still connected in that way. Yeah. Like Nidhi is from Nari Kunja. Yeah. I was going to ask another one. Um, you said that something like 70, 80 percent, I think you said, of the population is scared of math. Mm -hmm. Some big number. And did you say that was irregardless of if they were male or female? And is it throughout the country? Is it more in certain? Is it more rural? Is it in cities? Is it everywhere? Uh, it is everywhere. Uh, it would be, uh, and because uh, it also depends on the quality of teaching also, right? Uh, so it is everywhere. Rich people probably a bit less, but it happens because uh, we memorize things. We memorize the procedure. We don't understand it. That's why I entertain conceptual understanding. And that is why the sphere is, uh, the more underserved you are, more remote you are, uh, more difficult it is to get a quality teacher. So the problem would be more. And it's male and female? Yeah, and uh, with, uh, with female, generally you don't believe in our ability to do STEM. So, and I said it's all about teacher mindset. If a teacher believes, I mean, remember when we were in class, if the teacher didn't believe in us, we would play hooky. But if we knew that the teacher expects that I will be doing good, I also want to do good. So. 
are there any lessons that would apply to the U.S. that you know we should be aware of? I, I mean, I think some of those same problems, right? Your challenges uh, exist here. So uh, here, there is fear here also. Uh, that is the truth. Uh, any, I mean, any group I walk into, uh, if I ask you here, you, I'm, I'm sure there are some of you who are scared of mathematics. And the uh, percentage of women is going to be higher. Uh, there is, uh, Stanford is doing really good work. Uh, there is this lady by the name of Jo Bowler. She has really taken the bull by the horns. And uh, she is doing some great work to remove this math fear and how to approach the subject. So we generally follow. So the curriculum that we design, we study across the world, from uh, US to Australia, Europe, Asia. And then we study what has happened in India and then contextualize it to the community that we are going to. Because a gym won't work there. It has to be a Sandhya or an Anjali or a Nidhi. And even names matter. Pizza won't work there. There I will have to get roti. So everything matters. Yes. Sandhya, first of all, congratulations on the award of the UN. It's so nice to see that your work is being recognized globally. Yeah. The second thing I wanted to point out is when Sandhya talks about these works, these programs being supported by Bloomington Rotary, that every one of us have supported the programs that Sonia is working with through our dollars, our contributions to the Rotary Foundation. So it's great to see how our contributions are being utilized across the world in yes. such a great way. So thank you. Yeah. Yeah. And you know, this, this is the fastest grant I've written this year, five days, right? And I approached six, five, six clubs here and they came back like within 15 days and uh, everybody contributed. I was just amazed. Uh, before I forget, so we are also doing a fundraiser. Uh, it's on your tables. It's on July 16th. We would have many stories to share. So I would love for you to come if you are able to make it. Uh, it the, they are on your table. Also, there are many stories uh, that many stories that I have not been able to tell, but they are on the back of these cards. I'm going to leave some on each table. Cool. If you want to, please feel free to take. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So just, just before you uh, wrap up there, um, uh, there may be one other question, but I wanted to ask uh, uh, Don, um, how much money have we, you know, if you remember off the top of your head, I hate to put you on, oh. the, on the spot, because I wouldn't remember this either, <laughs> if we just approximately that we've, we've, we've given uh, as a grant. We have a fast learner here in <laughs> Sandia, and she's done on many, many grants. Yes. And I can't tell you the total amount. It's probably close to, uh, Half a million or a million? It's uh, should not be. Should be. You should be very close. Yeah, about three to four hundred thousand dollars. It's great. We have the grants. We've got the foundation, and you have individuals. That yeah. Yes. 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 It's like yeah. three buckets at least. Yeah. yeah there's yeah. a lot of buckets there, so it's gets confusing. And I, yeah. I don't want to put you on the spot because I wouldn't be able to answer that either. I should be able to as well. <laughs> yeah, I should. I should do this. <laughs> I, I should do this calculation. Yeah. 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 Do we have any last questions before we wrap up today? All right, well, we'd like to thank you. If there's any last Thanks. things you wanted to say before you wrap Please up. Please come for the fundraiser. <laughs>